This is Chris Hollenbach. I think the Packers found something in Christian Watson, and I think they'll load up the box against Derrick Henry and trust their corners to cover. The Packers win by two scores. Rex Shield with Cheesehead TV here. All right, so the Packers are coming off their best offensive performance of the season. Now, do I think that they can do it twice in a row? Can they do it against a Titans rush defense that is number one according to DBOA? Yes, I do. Call me delusional, but I believe the Packers are going to win for the second straight week, 24-17. How's it going, everyone? Packers, Titans, Thursday night football. The Packers rocking their color rush jerseys, so we know they're going to look good on the field, but will they play good? That's the question. A lot of positives coming off their game in Dallas, but I still have my concerns if they can do it back-to-back -back and on a short week. So unfortunately, I'm going to say the Titans come into Lambeau Field and win 27-20. But as always, go Pack Go. Gil Martin here, Packers and Titans at Lambeau Field. Thursday night, national TV. The key to this game for the Packers is to slow down Derrick Henry and make Ryan Tannehill beat them. If the Packers run defense, which unfortunately will be without Devondre Campbell, can't slow down Henry, this is going to be a tough game. I think Green Bay finds a way with a little more confidence that they got after beating Dallas. Both teams need to run the football in order to win this game, but the Packers have a better passing attack. I'm going to say it's Packers 20, Titans 17 at Lambeau Field Thursday night. Hey, Packers fans, Jersey Al here with your Packers Titans prediction. Call me shocked that the Packers were able to go from looking horrendous against the Lions to looking like their old selves against the Cowboys. The question is was it the rival of the Cowboys and Mike McCarthy that? stirred up the necessary juices, or did they finally find a formula that could be sustainable over the course of the season? I'm not willing to commit to the latter, but I am going to take a leap of faith here and say the Packers will find a way to beat the Titans by a score of 23-17 to and make it two in a row. Maybe book it and go Pack Go. Hey, I'm Ken Lass. I sure don't like the way this game looks on paper. I think we're all agreed the Packers have to run the ball in order to be successful. Well, the Tennessee Titans are the number one team in the league against the run. Uh, and then on the other side of the ball, the Packers' biggest problem on defense is stopping the run. And the Titans have a guy by the name of Derrick Henry, who might be the best running back in the league. So, you know, I know they don't play the game on paper, but I don't think the Packers can overcome that kind of disadvantage, if you want to call it that. Low scoring game, I'll say Titans 17, Packers 10. Hope I'm wrong. Go Pack Go. How's it going everybody? I'm Corey Jennerjohn with Cheesehead TV. Packers and Titans on Thursday night from Lambeau Field. I've said this several times, Thursday night games are not my cup of tea. Uh, the players are really tired, they're sore, they're on short rest, uh, but that's what the schedule says. Packers of 4-6 and six coming off a great win. More importantly, it laid the blueprint for what the Packers have to do in order to continue success. In the Packers' four wins, they've averaged 169 yards on the ground. That's all they've got to do. They've got to own the line of scrimmage, keep pounding the rock, and good things are going to happen. And I expect good things to, to continue on Thursday. I expect the Packers to win 23-17 to 17 over the Titans. Have a great weekend, everybody.